Hello and welcome back to another video. So this is part 14. Uh, so we're now going to actually start adding in this main content. So we're going to start off with this featured text here at the top. Uh, so we'll create a H2. We'll add this line in below. Add the paragraph of text. And then the next section we'll be looking at will be these two bits here. So we'll create an unordered list and we'll add these icons in. Uh, and all that good stuff. So the first thing we need to do, if we look up here at the, the design, you can see that we've got a gap here and a gap on this side. So we're going to add some padding on the main content div. So what this will do for us will give us padding all the way down uh, the left and the right hand side. Uh, so if we just jump over to Dreamweaver. So if we just go into the style sheet and we've got the main content div here so we need to add the following we're going to say padding so we're going to say the top padding will be 10 pixels the right will be 20 the bottom will be 10 and the left will be 20 so if we just save that and then go back to the index page you don't really see any difference yet but we'll start adding in the content so in the source view we want to be adding our information in here in between the opening and closing main content. So we're going to create a div and we're going to give it an ID. And we'll just call this featured as this is going to be the featured text at the top of the page. And we'll close that off and just add our comment here. So featured. So we know which one it belongs to. So inside of here, we're going to create a bit of space and we're going to create a H2. And then just close that off. And then underneath that, we'll create a paragraph and we'll close that off. So we just need to go back to Photoshop and grab the text. So I'm going to zoom in with Control and Plus. And here's our paragraph. So I'm going to grab the text tool. And I'm just going to copy this text directly out of Photoshop and paste it in to our H2 here. Again, you can put whatever you like in here. I'm just copying the actual Photoshop design. And then what we need to do is then grab the paragraph. So I'll zoom out a little bit more. Grab the text tool by pressing T on the keyboard and it changes to the text tool and select all that. Copy it out. And we're good to go now. We'll paste that into there. And if we just save the page with Control S and go to Design, you can now see we've got the um, Lorem Ipsum header and we've also got the paragraph tag and you can also see we've got the padding on the right and we've got the padding on the left and you can also see it's enclosed in this div uh, which is marked in the yellow so we now need to style these elements so the first thing we need to do is actually find out the color so if we go back to Photoshop zoom in well first of all we need to find out the font so I'm going to grab the text tool again and just select the text and it's actually Vedana for the actual font and now we just need to get the color of that so I'm going to grab the eyedropper tool and just click on the L here and then it gives me the color so that color is 707070 so now we need to find out the same information for the paragraph text here which I'm, I'm guessing it's probably Vedana again so I select it and it is Vedana and we just need to get the color so again I'm going to zoom in I'm just going to click here on this P and then click on the palette down here and that's going to be 5A, 5A, 5A. So now we've got these things sorted, we just need to go back over to Dreamweaver. And if we go to the source of the index page, so we need to target this H2. So we're going to say a div with an ID of featured that has a H2, do the following. So in the style sheet, we're going to say a div with an ID of featured that has a H2 do the following so the font family will just pick Vedana uh, and then obviously if Vedana is not available it will go to the next one and so on and then just save that we want to give it a color and the color is 7 oh, 707070 and then the font size will say 14 
maybe we'll increase it a little bit more, go back to the design. Yep, so you can see it there, but it's quite small, so we need to change that up. I reckon if we change that to 16, and that's looking a bit bigger now. I think if we do a little bit more, if we go to 18, and then go to the index page, and that's looking a bit better now. Uh, so if we just go back to Photoshop, zoom out a little. So as you can see here, we've got a, a line underneath and we've got a bit of spacing uh, from underneath the H2 to that line. So we need to create that. So we'll go back to Dreamweaver. So this H2, we need to add some more styling to it. So we're going to say padding on the bottom of the H2, just say 10 pixels. Go back to the index. You can now see we've got some more space in the, underneath it now. And then the final thing we're going to say is border bottom. And it's going to be a one pixel line. It's going to be a solid line. And we'll just say black for now. We, have to, we need to find out that color and just save that. So as you can see now, we've got this line in position. But obviously, it's the wrong color. So we're going to go back to uh, Photoshop. And I'm just going to quickly grab the uh, eyedropper tool, click on the line. And the color is B9B9B9. B9, B9. So if we go back to Dreamweaver, into the style, and change the word black for B9B9B9. B9, B9. Close that off. And you can now see that starting to take shape. If we just preview this in a web browser by clicking on the globe and clicking Chrome or whatever browser you use, I'm going to hit refresh. And you can now see that starting to take shape. Now, we need to control this paragraph tag as well because that's far too close to the line. So we're going to target that with CSS as well. So if we just go back to the style sheet, well, in fact, if we go to the source of the index, we need to target the P, so it's going to be div with an ID of featured that contains a paragraph tag, do the following. So if we come here, so div with an ID of featured has a P tag. We're going to use the following code. The color of that is going to be 5A, 5A, 5A. So if we just preview that, so the color's changed, but we need to kick it away from this black, this um, gray line. So we're going to use, if we go to the style, we're going to say the top of it. So we'll say margin top. 10 pixels and then just preview that so as you can see it's kicked it away and it's looking really close now to the Photoshop design uh, what we do need to do is justify the text so it's a straight line here and a straight line on this side so on the P tag we're going to use text align and we're going to say justify and save that Go back to the index, and it's now straight on both sides, which is looking quite nice. If we just come back over here, we want to change the actual font size as well. So we're going to say font size is 13 pixels, and save that out. And if we look at that, it's a bit too small actually. We'll bring that up a bit. We'll bring that to say 15. That's looking quite nice. What we do need to do is actually create some space in between the actual lines. If we just go to Photoshop, if we just zoom out a little, as you can see, there's a bit of spacing in between each of the, the lines. So we'll do that now in CSS. So if we just go back to Dreamweaver, and we want to use the following property on the paragraph tag. We want to say line height. I'm going to say 30 pixels, and if we go back to the index, you can now see we've got 30 pixels in between each of the lines. That's looking quite nice now as well. So we've now sorted that portion out. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the video here. Uh, I'm going to create a couple of more videos, and we'll next we'll be adding in those unordered lists. So hit one here on the left and one here on the right. And once we've done that, the final thing to do is add in the three images at the bottom and the the conversion from the Photoshop design to an actual website will be complete. So as usual guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.